It's beer o'clock on Relail Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brassi a la Brasserie de Baston and it's the La Trophette Russe. This is coming in at 7.5% ABV. Here's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Looking forward to this one. I've had it a while, I've aged this one for a year. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Oop. A little bit crazy, but you know, sometimes Belgian beers are. It's just the way it goes. It didn't take long to clean up, did it? Little wipe job done. Probably the fact that it's bottle conditioned and I've aged it for maybe one year, that might be. The reason as to why it's gone a little bit crazy. Lots of particles in the beer. Let me pour it out again. Can you see in the neck of the bottle as it's pouring through? Maybe not. But anyway, beer in a glass. Three to four finger. More or less white head going on there. <clears throat> Good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a, it's a nice ruby coloured ale. Slightly hazy. Nicely carbonated. Let's get the aroma. Spicy. Hoppy. And some biscuity malts going on. And I'm trying to work out if it's a Lambic or a Saison or it's got something about it. I've got a nice fruit beer. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh! Oh, that's fabulous, absolutely wonderful, wonderful beer, Stone the Crows. Lovely mouthfeel. It's got such a well-rounded, beautiful mouthfeel that's both making the beer very drinkable, but also it's holding on to it being a refreshing beer, so it's quite light in the in, in the mouthfeel. But then again, there's a little bit of creaminess in there. There's a little bit of kind of denseness going on. It's a it's a big multi chewy, biscuity brew is this beer. But the carbonation also, you've seen the beer as I poured it. It's quite a carbonated beer, so that carbonation lifts the beer on your palate, releasing more of that flavour. It's quite a, it's quite a malty, big, biscuity, bready brew this. The carbonation hisses and fizzes on the palate and there's flavours of, of spice, of wild Wild spice going on. Oh, it's maybe some honey mixed with some lavender or something. Some clove. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful beer. It really is. I'll try and show you now the, the beer being bottle conditioned. If I'm able to get the rest in. Not quite, I don't think, but we'll carry on. Look at that lovely cherry red colour to the beer.
I'm gonna say honey and clove, spice, biscuity, bready malt, fantastic mouthfeel. I'm determined, absolutely determined to, to show you if it's, if it's a bottle conditioned beer. I'll just quickly mention it as the head dissipates a little bit. Bottle conditioned process is the brewer would add a little bit of yeast to each bottle, maybe, maybe a touch of sugar. Some brewers do, some brewers don't. By adding a little bit of yeast, it would wipe up, mop up the rest of the residual sugar that's left in the bottle and then it creates a fantastic carbonation, as you've seen when we opened the bottle. And Belgian beers, as I, just, as I mentioned earlier, they're notoriously carbonated brews. So, I mean, if you've aged a beer like this for a year, then you might get it, you might get it that it's, it, it's a little bit lively, shall we say. It didn't cause a problem. I was, I was kind of expecting it, so I'd have everything ready, bottle opener, bottle, glass, everything was in close proximity and of course we got the sink. But then again on the other hand if you're not expecting it, it might cause a bit of a problem. If you've just got your glass and your bottle and you're on your cream carpet in the living room then it might it might cause a problem, you never know. Right, let's see if we can get some more of this. Lovely beer in the glass. Shake it around, let's get some of that yeast. If it is bottle conditioned, that is. I think it is. Yes, there you go. Can you see the little bits and pieces floating around now in the bottle? There you go, bottle conditioned beer. Typical Belgian beer then. I think it's fantastic, it's well balanced between a lovely biscuity, malty breadiness going on and then a spiciness on the back end. Certainly some, maybe a touch of honey or some lavender or some clove in there, some spice. Nice hoppiness on the back end, even though I've aged the beer for over a year. Look at that thick, dense head going on. And again, look at it. It's not cherry red anymore as it was earlier on because I've added some more of that yeast. So a changing, complex changing beer then. La Trofette Russe by Brassi à la Brasserie de Baston. Love it. Let's give it a rating. Cheers. I really like that beer. The sun has just broke through into the garden. I can just see it and it's it's my day off and it's lunchtime and I'm only gonna head one place and that's the garden. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that in the garden today. So I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.